Hey everyone, I am Jason and today we are going to talk about while loops. So one really important thing to think about when talking about while loops is that um, while loops have a control condition. And this means that a condition is evaluated to be true or false at the beginning um, and then the body of the code is executed depending on whether it is true or false. Um, and um, as long as the condition keeps on being true, the code, the body of the code will be executed over and over again. Um, and then once it's not true, then it stops. And that's where the loop is created. And um, I like to compare while loops a little bit to if statements, just because it executes the body of the code, um, depending on whether the first part is true. So in an if statement, if something is true, then execute the body of the code thereafter, right? Um, and yeah, this is called an entry controlled loop because it's at the beginning um, and then the body of the code follows, right? And I guess I just really wanted to create an analogy here um, when I write up some code. So I'm going to include my library. Here. And then these are just basic standard things that I'm going to put out here before I do write my code. I should be ready to get inside um, in main now. Here we are. Okay. So I guess the analogy that I want to carry out today is the analogy of an air conditioning, right? An, or an air conditioner, an AC. Um, and an AC kind of uses a while loop or a metaphorical while loop um, depending on whether it wants to turn off or not, right? So like let's say we're going to make an AC that turns off once the temperature um, inside a room or a house reaches 75 degrees. That's about standard, right? So let's say it's a 90 degree day out today, um, but this AC will stay on until it becomes 75 degrees inside. Um, so yeah, I'm going to kind of try to lay it out here and use a while loop in order to really um, create a nice analogy here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, create an integer and I'm going to call that integer temperature and then I'm going to output and ask the user how many degrees is it inside today? So it's like inside the house, inside the room, whatever it may be. How many degrees is it inside today? Um, and then I'm going to store this input, um, C in, the variable I just created, which is temperature. Temper. Did I not spell it the same? Temperature. There we are. And then here's where my while loop is going to be, right? So while my temperature or my variable temperature is greater than or equal to 75, so let's say it's a hot, it's hot inside, right? So as long as it's over 75 or equal to 75, um, then I'm going to um, execute the code below. What am I going to execute? I'm going to see out the temperature and then end it there. Followed by, um, since this is a loop um, and we sent out what the current temperature is, the next time we want to go into the loop, we're going to bring down the temperature down by one. So here we're going to go remove or decrease by one the temperature and then that's the new output, right? And then lastly, our C out is going to be um, something like, let's see, C out, something like, it is cool inside now. Uh, the AC is turning off. And then I'm going to turn that in there. There we go. So I guess what I'm trying to see here is um, the analogy, right? Actually, let me see if it runs here. 
How many degrees is it inside today? Let's say it's a warm day, but it's not too hot. I'm going to say 82 degrees. Um, so there we are. You see the AC um, notices that it's 82 degrees, and then it brings it down to 81, to 80, 79, as it's running, right? But once it reaches 75, it turns off. It says, it is cool inside now, the AC is turning off. So it runs through this loop, and this is where the loop lies, this wild loop right here. So as long as the temperature is above 75, it keeps going, right? Checks the initial condition and executes the code. But once it's, once, it's not, once it's lower than 75, then it stops, right? It doesn't even go into the executing the code. Um, and another powerful thing um, that I really wanted to emphasize with, uh, with while loops is that something called a break statement, right? Um, so like, let's say we're creating something that was like a eco-friendly AC, right? That maybe turned off um, a little earlier, maybe like at 80 degrees, right? Something that doesn't take so much power. So what I can actually do here is I can actually add an if statement or whatever I want right here. So if temperature is less than or equal to 80, um, I'm going to see out Oh, I'm going to put that in quotes as a string saving power dot 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 right and I'm going to end that there but what I'm actually going to add here is a break statement I just write break this break allows me to break out of the while loop right um, so although it's going to be in the middle of executing the code it can um, break out of the logic itself right um, so if if I implemented this correctly, then we're going to be able to break out at the number 80, right? Um, and then state something like saving power. So I'm going to run this, and then I'm going to write, let's say it's 85 degrees. 85, 84, 83, 82, 81. And then once it reaches something great, I mean less than or equal to 80, it stops and it writes saving power. So you can actually see the, the, the power that, a break statement has it literally breaks you out of the code and yeah these are the fundamentals of while loops and i hope you enjoyed i've been jason